are now going to look at a couple of additional units of concentration for our solutions. Mole fraction, we represent that with X. Um, as moles of what we're interested in over total moles. So I'm not saying solute because um, we'll use that uh, for vapor pressure of solutions in terms of the mole fraction of the solvent. So the moles of interest over total moles, and this number is always between zero and one. When we look at all the components of a mixture, they all add up to one. So if we have 35 milliliters of pentane and add through 45 milliliters of hexane, we have our densities and we're asked what our mole fraction of pentane is. So we're gonna need moles of pentane and total moles. So we do our volume times density to give us our mass. We divide the mass by the molar mass of each compound, we get moles. Add the two moles together, get a uh, total moles of 0.651. So we do our moles of pentane, 0.306, divided by total moles, 0.651, and we get a mole fraction of 0.47. So doing mass percent, we're going to do mass of solute over total mass of solution times 100%. And um, the mass percent of all components, it will add up to 100%. So if we have 125 grams of solution and it contains 15 grams of cesium chloride, what's our mass percent of cesium chloride? So we do our grams of cesium chloride, 15, divided by the grams of solution, 125, times 100%, and we end up with a 12% solution of cesium chloride. Sometimes we're given mass of the solute and mass of the solvent. In that case, we have to add the two together to get the total mass of solution. <clears throat> so going another direction with mass percent, we have 15 mass percent sodium chloride solution. We have 84.8 grams of that solution. How many grams of the sodium chloride solute do we have? So in this case, we're not solving for a mass percent. So let's set it up as a ratio. We have 15% out of 100% of the solution. We're looking for our grams of sodium chloride out of the 84.8 grams of solution. Now we're going to multiply this 84.8 across. Our grams of sodium chloride would be 84.8 grams times 15% over 100%. So this turns into a decimal number, 0.15. It loses the percent units, so our, we'll end up with grams for our answer and comes out to be 12.7 grams of the sodium chloride. So, molality is a unit that we use for uh, some colligative properties, uh, specifically our freezing point depression and boiling point elevation. And it's moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So this time it's we're only dividing by the solvent, not the solution. So if we have 25 ml of our pentane, oops, that's not right here, and 45 ml of our hexane, we're seeing that our volumes add. So we're going to have 45 plus 25 is. Uh, 70 ml, they don't always add. We're asking what our molality of the pentane is. The molality would be moles of the pentane over kilograms of the hexane. So we do our volume times density to get our mass of hexane, 15.75 grams, divided by the molar mass, 72.15 grams per mole. We end up with 0.218 moles of our pentane. For the hexane, 45 ml times 0.66 grams per ml gives 29.7 grams. We don't need moles here, we need kilograms. So we're just going to convert this into kilograms, 0 0.0297 kilograms. 
Now our moles, 0.281 moles divided by 0 0.0297 kilograms, gives us the 7.3 molality of the methane. And um, later on, we're going to be using these colligative properties to figure out the molar mass of compound. And uh, what we're going to have to be able to do is to take our molality that we get and turn it into moles. So in this case, we have some ethanol in water has a molality of 3.77 molality ethanol, and it's in 205 milliliters of water. So we want to say how many moles of ethanol are present. Well, this is moles per kilogram, so we need kilograms of water. So we take our 205 mLs, multiply by the density of water with 205 grams, convert it into kilograms, we've got 0 0.205 kilograms. Our 3.77 molality, I'll just read it as, rewrite it as moles per kilogram, so we can see our kilograms canceling. We end up with 0 0.773 moles of the ethanol. 